welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Durand and this is Life is a Treasure. Today I'm bringing you a what sold and a um, big cumulative haul. And when I say big, I mean this big. Like a lot of items that I have recently thrifted at consignment stores and thrift stores around my area. I live in Austin, Texas. So I have quite a bit of um, thrift stores, consignment stores, Goodwills, Goodwill outlet bins, all kind of different Goodwills. So anyway, I, um, I then recycle them. I, I restore them. I sell them on Poshmark and they go to another home. So that's what I do. And I will start off today with a haul of what has, I mean, um, what sold and I need to get these shipped out and then I'll show you what I recently picked up that I will be listing in my closet. As always, my closet will be in the description below and if you're new, please say hi. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you stick around and introduce yourself in the comments. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that sold was a bundle of two and it was this little cowboy, cowgirl shirt. <laughs> And I picked this one up at the Goodwill Outlet, also known as the Goodwill Bins. Now, I don't typically pick up children's clothing because, first of all, I love it and I love picking them out, but they just don't sell for me because I have picked up a few items that I think were um, really cute and, you know, not a normal thing I see all the time, which were like these little pink Levi, pink label Levi's with the little rhinestone kind of like glammed up uh jeans for a little toddler so she bundled these with this and i was very excited because i've had these in my closet for a while like i said i do not sell a lot of baby clothes so i quit picking it up but while i was at the outlet bins when i saw this i had to pick it up because i knew this was a really good brand i could just tell by the quality of the shirt that it was a great deal so I went ahead and picked it up and someone is going to get a cute little outfit for their child. It makes my heart so happy. Okay, the next item that sold was this H&M shirt. I mean shirt, H&M dress. It's very unique. It has these Bengal, and I own the Bengal cat and I love them. So it has these Bengals with blue eyes all over them. So it's a novelty print dress. Um, and so that one did sell. The next item I sold was 100% silk, um, new with tags by Talbots. Now, I have been mentioning to you guys that I am picking up looking for silk and cotton and linen, and I did share in the last video that I'm going to that I was going to be having a black and white haul, and so really interesting. I've been on the lookout specifically for black or white, like classic pieces. Look, it's not that I, it's not my favorite. I don't I really do not like photographing black or white. It's really hard to pick up details. You pretty much have to model the item to show the beautifulness of it. And so if you're a reseller, you know what I mean. It is so challenging when you try to post black or white items. So anyway, so that's another reason I was looking. I just was drawn to it. I felt like, you know, it is kind of in style right now and it's, it's classic. Everyone needs white in their closet, everyone needs black in their closet, goes with everything, so that's what I was doing. And so you will probably see in this haul, there's a lot of black and white, and that was intentional. Now, the thing that was out of my control was that the sales were a lot of black and white also, as you can see. So, as you can see, well, just the black and white bingle dress, and then a solid black Talbot new with tag, $79.50 $79. re retail on this beautiful black, now it is wrinkly, but you know, silk, it's going to get wrinkled when I pack it in a second. So anyway, is what it is, but still nonetheless, once you steam it, it's absolutely gorgeous. So she pur purchased this black silk top. The next item that sold was a very interesting find for me, and I did show it in a recent haul, and it was this white skirt. Now, to me, I did share this in the, in the video, it just looked like a regular sweatshirt, Material cut with scissor raw hem really raw and I almost just I literally did pass it up Then I gave it a second look and I looked at the label and when I saw the label Frank and Eileen I didn't recognize that name But I could tell that they was sewn on and just from my experience that this was a substantial piece looked it up It sells for over $100 this sold 
for about um my profit was 70 on this one so you know they do sell for a lot and i am so happy that i did pick it up because someone actually want wanted this and got a great great deal it's like brand new okay the next item that i did find that i was so excited about is the everlane which is a great great brand for me um people love everlane my my shoppers love everlane so it was brand new with tags you cannot beat this and um of course they sold they were this the curvy high rise skinny jean very very popular right now brand new jeans so someone got themselves a very very good deal and i'm not jealous because i told you in the last video i pur purchased some birkenstock that i actually have some other items i'm going to share with you that i purchased as a buyer from Poshmark, so stay watching for that. The next item that did sell was this Bowdoin linen dress. I have mentioned before, Bowdoin is a wonderful brand for me. I do have another Bowdoin item in this haul. I also have another Frank and Eileen item in this haul that I'm gonna show you in a minute. So I've been very fortunate and I feel very blessed that they are selling and that I'm finding them. So this linen dress is on its way to its new owner as well, and that's it for my little what sold portion of this video and i will just share with you that they're going to california yay my son lives in california so i always have at least one going to california and it just makes me happy i have one two uh two going to california one to north carolina one to nebraska portland oregon where my daughter used to live but she now lives here in austin seattle washington two to seattle washington so there you go they're heading out to their new homes okay let me move them out the way i'll be right back with what i purchased on poshmark okay so i'll share i really 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 love this brand barefoot dreams cozy chic have you heard of it i had heard of it i heard it was the most the softest thing in the world and i wanted this brand and i was in the store the thrift store one time and i found a brand new with tags purple robe i was so excited i did use it uh, for a little while but it was too big for me so i did sell it on poshmark but i wanted a cardigan i wanted because i always get chilly especially in the summer when it's air conditioned and i wanted it oversized so that's why i got a large i know you could get like a small medium but i wanted a large extra large so I got this on Poshmark. It was like brand new. The lady gave me a, such a good deal. I was super excited. Oh, I love it so much. So this is the cardigan that I just got. Let me move this out of the way for a sec. It's heavy on so much clothes to show you. I cannot wait. But anyway, here's this cardigan and I can't, let me just over here. You can see it's long. I love it. I can wear it with leggings, anything, dress. Okay. so. It is big for me, but I wanted it that way. I'll probably get another one in a smaller size. But so she gave me a great deal. I purchased this one from her. Now, if you want to buy on Poshmark, it's better to buy two or more items and get discounted shipping and get shipping, one shipping. But I purchased this one from her and then I didn't realize she had another one. So she had this one. See, she says she got them and they were too warm for her. So she was not wearing them and she just wanted to sell them. So she had this one as well, which is exactly the same. So she sent me a better offer, I guess because I'd already purchased this one and she knew I liked it and whatever. So she sent me a better offer. I was like, yeah, so I got both of them. So happy, so happy. I got one for 20 and one for 30. So it was a great, great deal because they sell for over $100. So I'm so happy with my finds on Poshmark. Uh, see, I do like to buy on Poshmark as well as sell. So if there's something I'm looking for and I can't find it in the store or um, I want a good deal, I will I will shop on Poshmark. Why not? I sell on Poshmark. I give people great, great deals. Okay, so let me put them out the way. And I'm going to share with you, let, let's get, this is starting the haul now. Um, I did purchase this for myself because it was a leopard belt by Michael Kors and uh, who can't use a uh, genuine leather I believe this is calf hair I'm pretty sure Michael Kors belt so I'm definitely keeping this one and again in a few years I may sell it but for now it will be in my personal closet 
And let me just get the accessories out of the way and then I'll get into the clothing. The next item that I'm going to share is this brand new with Tag Tignanello. Um, it's like a burgundy color purse. Kind of like a maroon. And the reason I'm showing this, I do have a lot of black and white, that, white as I shared, but I also did find some beautiful burgundy pieces. Wine color, which is really a good color for me, which is why I love that cardigan. So this is the first purse from the haul. All right, the next item from the haul is going to be these little espadrille sandals. They're navy blue suede, and they have the sling in the back, elastic, and um, these are by the brand Yokono. So I'm happy, excited to get these listed for 4th of July coming up. The next, uh, another pair of shoes that I purchased were these sandals by Gentle Souls, which is a brand of Kenneth Cole. And these are just some really, they have like a rubber grippy type of uh, sole and they're like leather lace up. So these are really cute and they go with everything. Okay, um, another pair of sandals. This is really um, a neat brand. I have found it and sold it once. It sold really well. And it's called Fly London. So the first pair of shoes I picked up were these black and they look like nun shoes. You know, they were like these Oxford type shoes and they had the brand, it was a brand fly and it was the black leather. And then look at the detailing. This is their logo, I guess. It's a fly. Okay, it's gonna, let me try to get this to focus. I don't know if it's picking it up, but it is literally like a fly, a real fly bug, okay? <laughs> there you go fly London and it has this rubber grippy sole fly London and you see on the bottom they're black suede <laughs> and these have this velcro which is really awesome and they are so so comfortable so I knew when I saw these when I saw the fly on the side I said oh yeah they're coming home with me because I did sell another pair and they sold really, really well. So I was very confident in these. Okay, the next pair that I got were, oh, I'm actually gonna be probably, not probably, I am wearing these for a while. I found these and these were the Nike Air Max Fly Ease and these were a youth size, but they fit me perfect. So for thrift store prices, I was like, yes, they sell for over $100. And I just came home. Actually, one of them had a little spot, but I was not worried because I have all the cleaning supplies because that's what I do for my job. So I cleaned them up and they literally look brand new. So I'm so excited for myself to have these shoes. Okay, let's get into the clothing because I have a lot and I cannot wait to show you guys what I found. Okay, the first thing I want to share with you is this shirt. It's by Love the Label and um, it is this real pretty floral with gold accent shirt, ruffle bottom. So I just think this one is adorable for spring summer. Sequins, I have been finding a few sequin pieces and you're gonna see that. I think I shared with you um, some other ones in the last haul actually. So here you go, sequins, black and white. Very, very pretty. Uh, Detailing, this is a Darjani brand. And it's just a really good quality top and crop top, so. But somebody will really like that. I have some uh, black jeans that have black sequins. I'll show you in a second. That would go so well together, actually. Um, and when I have items like that, I'm gonna list this and then I'll list the jeans like one after the other so that way somebody might see it and they may want to Bundle it for discounted shipping. Okay, Band of Gypsies dress. It's kind of this tribal Aztec design, real lightweight. It is lined inside, as you can see. And yeah, just a really cute, summery Band of Gypsies dress. So, that one. The next dress I found, I, um, so excited when I found this. I've never found this brand before. Trina Turk. And it's like this chambray. Cutest top, uh, neckline up here. And the way it's made. It's just so different. And then you have it coming down. And it has a raw, raw 
him. So cute. Yeah, I, I just think this is adorable piece. Okay, and then I found a J. Crew dress. Now, I typically pass over J. Crew, but you know, when I saw this one, I just, I don't know, I just was drawn to it. I thought it was very unique, unique, colorful, bright, bright colors are really in this, this summer. So um, I definitely just wanted to give this one a try and it had the belt. <laughs> and as you know, if you're a reseller, it sometimes, most of the time when you find a dress, they don't always have the belt. So this was a cute dress. Alrighty, the next thing that I'll show you is another brand that I had heard so much about and never have found yet. But I have, and it is the Club Monaco. And this one is just a like a chambray color, but it's more of a knit type, and it's kind of just like a, um, I don't know, t-shirt dress, long sleeve with the pockets in the front, kind of neutral, just plain in the back, simple blue dress. <laughs> okay, um, another fun piece was this Mickey Mouse. Yay, so this is a Disney. Mickey Mouse collection by Neff, N-E-F-F, -F, and you, they have N-E-F-F -F on the front. And so some people do look for these, and this is a little windbreaker. They probably bought it at Disneyland and paid a lot for it. All right, this is bright. Aloe leggings. <laughs> Aloe brand highlight lime green leggings they are an excellent like barely probably hardly ever been worn and i just definitely wanted to put these in my poshmark closet oh my goodness y'all bob mackie i found this bob mackie new tides jacket look at the detailing on this oh i just love it so much and it's called the parade of the flowers and it zips up and then the back has lint on it obviously <laughs> but so cute i definitely want to wear this one a few times but it is new with tags so i'm kind of torn what do y'all think should i just sell it or should i wear it a few times what do y'all think about it i'd love to hear in the comments have you ever had a piece like this have you ever sold it y'all i just i don't know this is my thing and Look how cute it would look with some leggings like this just to bring out those colors, right? So adorable, so adorable. Okay, that was fun. Another fun one, garden theme, is this butterfly mini skirt. And the brand is Ted Baker of London. <laughs> Very expensive brand. So, so excited to find this skirt. Okay, another brand is Pill Crow in the Letter Press. I may not be able to show you labels because I have so much I need to get through. But this is a denim chambray type ruffle with pockets on the back skirt. I did find two free people skirts. They're like this knit fabric this was the wine burgundy color i was telling you i did find a few pieces like that free people size medium and it looks like a wrap skirt you know so it's kind of like has that wrap look and then they also had a black one right next to it but this one was brand new with tags so i was like oh yeah retail 50 bucks 50 dollars for this little skirt free people is one of my favorite brands Another one that I had never found was Jamie Sadock. And this is pro, um, like for golfers, it's a squirt. And um, so yeah, let's see, it has some silver hardware on it. I, I'm totally turning this around. Let me show you like this the right way, here you go. Yeah, it has some silver hardware on it, little squirt. So you have the shorts underneath, perfect for tennis or golf. Really, really cute squirt. Another skirt is this plaid mod cloth brand, <laughs> plaid, plaid skirt. It's, um, it's heavy duty, it is stretchy, and it has this ruffling at the bottom. Again, with that burgundy color in it. 
Another fun skirt. This one is by the brand Millie, M-I-L-L-Y. Another expensive piece. Um, it's just an abstract design pencil skirt, but um, I could see this definitely being worn like in a business attire, like if you go to a meeting and pulling it, pulling it out with like a color, a tank that's the same color as one of these, and then throw on like a white or black cardigan or jacket. I think it'd be so, you know, just so nice looking for the office or meetings. This is another skirt that I picked up because it's the brand Dolan Left Left Coast Collection. Um, stretchy, again, that chambray colored, kind of has that wrap design. Uh, so comfy looking feeling. I just, yeah, this is a really, really cute skirt and comfy for the summer. It's so soft. Here we go. Frank and Eileen, remember I shared with you the white skirt? I found this. I'm like okay and and they have fun their things say made their clothing have a label say made in sunny california but i was like okay this is just a cotton top really why is it 200 and something dollars i don't get it but anyway you know what that will always be something to baffle us but you know what it is it what it is and people do love this brand and somebody's gonna get a great great deal on this eileen and Fisher cotton top. Um, it actually goes really well. So again, I like to do this. I will pair this, I will list these close together. So this is a Maeve by Anthropology skirt. And um, I like the design. I like the colors of it. It's that mustard yellow, but it also has some orange in it and black. Again, this would look really cute. It has the same color orange and I'd wear a, t a black tank under it. So I'm gonna list these. At, right after each other and people can see that it would go a great find here is this beautiful 100% silk again here's that color my color I love this color with my coloring of hair and eyes and skin but it's very detailed fringe like this chiffon stuff at the bottom and the brand on this one is Sue Wong very expensive brand, 100% silk dress. Very elegant, very elegant. All right, another dress is this white eyelet dress by another one of my favorite brands, Lily Pulitzer. Um, they are a really, really good brand. People like their clothes. When I get an item from them, it does sell pretty quick. So this is, a, I feel like this could definitely be on or off the shoulders. So very, very great for the vacation, the beach, summertime, wedding. Um, I'm going to put all the keywords, you know, bridal party, reception, all that. Has a belt, that belt. I'm not going to pick it up yet. Okay, they have another, remember I shared that I have a Bowden, another pair of Bowden. These are Bowden jeans, but... The reason I grabbed these are because of the embroidery on them. They have embroidery all over them with a little flower that's that same color, that burgundy color. And these are the style, the Cavendish Girlfriend. <laughs> so, there. These are like new jeans, denim jeans. Another pair of denim jeans. Um, another good brand. These are by... Adriano Goldschmidt. I always say it kind of wrong, but you know, and it's the ex-boyfriend. I could see these with some white Birkenstocks. It'd be so cute. The next item is another white eyelet dress, and it's by Eliza J, but, uh, which is a really expensive brand also. So this is a white eyelet dress, and it has the, the um, what you call this? I don't know, but it's like a long drop. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. So the body is all fitted and then this is at the end. It's, I'm at a loss for it, but the, when you see the picture of it, like the stock photo is gorgeous on. I believe I will be able to model it. I really hope so because it definitely needs to be on someone to see how beautiful it looks. Okay, here's another one. Um, show me your moo moo. <laughs> Funny name, but people do like it. And it's a sequins black. It's like the... the it's like a little spaghetti strap, but then, I don't know, it comes high neck and it has, it's a short dress. It's not a long one. It has the sequins all over it. A lot you can do with that. Oh, 
<laughs> Love this one too. This is by Adolfo Dominez. Domin I don't know his last, how to say his last name, but it's 100% linen. I'm not sure the camera's picking up with the lighting, but yeah, there we go. You can see the detailing on there, I think. So 100% linen dress. Beautiful for summer. This one's by a brand, it's a shirt with like this around the car, around the neck, and it's by Ro, Doe, and Ray. Black and white striped top. Here's the sequins jeans I was telling you about. They're by the brand Frame, and they have the sequins and distressing throughout. So I think this paired with that black and white sequins top would look so cute together. Another white cotton by the brand Mazik, Mazik, and so it's just a white cotton, but it has the eyelet sleeve. Could be worn over a swimsuit, over a dress. This is a um, brand. The brand is Entro, and it is like an off-shoulder with embroidered embroidery sleeves. So. I have to seam it, but it's definitely just a cool, breezy, flowy white cotton top. This is a cute romper. I picked up a lot of white eyelet, but I was not upset about it. I love the white eyelet for the summertime. All white eyelet and lined inside or some cotton shorts. So this is a cute little romper. Okay. The next item is a shirt from Jones of New York. But it, I just like the style. I like that it's just this black and white buffalo, not really buffalo check, but black and white checkered. And it ties at the waist and it has the elastic in the back, which is so cute. And it buttons down. Another white cotton skirt by the brand MPH 1X. Beautiful white cotton skirt. And again, it has the same kind of like embroidering detail on it, which is going to be so hard for me to photograph and list. But I'm going to do it. <laughs> One more, one more with the all white. This is by Democracy, size, size two, so a tiny little dress here, but it comes, it's a halter top dress and it zips on the side. Okay, very hard to show you these guys. <laughs> okay, super fun, black and white with some lemons all over it. Novelty print, lemons, shoulder strap, off the shoulder. Brand is Peyton and Parker. Cute little summery lemon dress. Um, vintage Savannah. I think it's Savannah. Um, black and white with some embroidery dress. Um, another skirt by, let's see, this one is by IE Women, but the reason I picked it up is 100% silk and it was it's a 2X. So I love having some plus sizes in my closet. I like to represent every size in my closet. Nanette Lepore, brand new with tag. Let's, let me be still for a second so you can just see the beauty. New with tags, it was from Neiman Marcus, and it was $99. So somebody's gonna get a beautiful black, brand new with tag in that Lepore dress. This one, I don't even wanna try to say the name. It's made in Spain, but it's so many detailing, embroidery, the color of it. I'll let you read the tag if you can. And uh, it's just a dress. It's a dress, cotton with a belt. And it just has a lot of really cute detailing on it and embroidery, which I love. I think this is really makes a piece stand out and makes it more valuable in my opinion. I just like embroidery. Another black and white piece here. Kind of looks like a zebra by Valentina. Um, so it really does look like a zebra. Now the thing about it is on the back. Oh, this is so cool. So the back actually looks like a zebra, but it has rhinestones. It's like two zebras <laughs> and it's a cardigan. Saks Fifth Avenue, but this just reminded me of a vintage style with this leopard. It's like navy blue, 
pink leopard and it has like navy and white trim or is it black I think black. I don't know but Saks Fifth Avenue jacket that's unique this was a free this is a free people sweater big slouchy I'm gonna wear this one I like throwing this on over um, like tank top workout tops pretty bralettes. I just love having this in my closet. So that I picked up for myself for now. This is a, another free people sweater. It's so bolo. I love this one. The sleeves are like a bell sleeve. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it has a lot of, um, ugh, my brain. I don't know, but I'm pilling. It's not pilling, but little things like that. Fuzz, fuzzies. So I have a shaver and I'm going to shave it off. It's going to look brand new after. So that's a tip. Use a shaver. And a Madewell sweater in 100% cashmere. Wow. This uh, is super soft. It's like this confetti design style colors in it, but it's black 100% cashmere by Madewell. Okay. We are rounding it up. I just want to say this dress as well is one that I recently thrifted. And I'm gonna be listing this one. I'm just gonna model it. I'm gonna take photos in a little bit, but this is um, by Vine Street. And so it's kind of like this soft blush colored um, velvet, and then it has the lace sleeves. And so I'm gonna, and it's short, so it goes like right, right to my knee. I just paired this with some cute little glittery type sandals that I found thrifting. And yeah, so that's one dress that I. Uh, Found, but here's the last one. I saved the best for last. You know that this haul would not be complete without birds. So here we go. They had just put it out. I was getting ready to leave. I grabbed this so fast <laughs> because I saw strawberries and cherries and a bird, and then I saw the cockatoo. And I said, Oh my goodness, if you know me. I hand raised parrots, birds, and this cockatoo sold me. I was like, this is for me. Well, not really for me, but I'm buying this for my closet. I wish it would fit me, um, but it's really small. However, I did try it on, <laughs> and it does fit for me to model it, so I definitely want to model it. It was by Betsy Johnson. I had another dress by her, and it sold so, so fast, so I knew that I just... I wasn't gonna leave this one and you know I had to pay a lot I had to pay up for it not the you know typical thrift store price it was priced could you know about 20 something but uh, no, I paid um under 20 but still I don't care this is so gorgeous okay I cannot wait to list it all right well that wraps up my haul I'm getting ready to pack this I gotta ship it on its way um this is quite a big haul. I'm going to be listing all these items. So that's a big job just in itself. And um, let's see. I would love to hear from y'all. Like, what was your favorite item? There was a lot. There was a lot. But pick more than one. But if you're new, say hi. Make sure to subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video in June. Bye.